Let's jump in. Game time. Didn't we just say we're playing on controller? Yes, five. So I did at one point, like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago. Oh, that look sensitivity is probably too low. Uh, I started playing this game, so I just kind of ran around the starting area, though. That's like all that I did. <laughs> look sensitivity. Let's go there. All right, awesome. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly, here you are. Leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, boom. All systems go. Glad you're excited, but remember... You wrecked the ship. I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight, re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. Look at his four eyes. Pretty cool character model. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from the Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Roast a marshmallow. Yeah. Eat it. <laughs> wow. Wasn't that sound effect? <laughs> hey, Paisley Zoe. Or Paisley Zoe. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's my first time playing through this game, so I'm pretty excited about that. Hold and release. Interesting. Well, I think clearly you want me to go up here, so let's go up here. Talk to Micah. What's up, Micah? It's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space? Aren't you? Better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. <laughs> yeah, let's try out your model ship. Uh, horizontal thrust, up down thrust. Oh shit, what did I do? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay. So did I flip this upside down? No, no, I didn't. So let's go that way a little bit. Well, this gets crazy. Let's just get on our feet again. <clears throat> Where are you from? I'm from Washington State in the United States. Oh, gotta really stop boosting one way before starting to boost the other way. Okay, what's down right now? Not that. So nice. Hey, where are you from? Okay, I just want to flip, so that's... Less likely to start a fire. That's good. Because I seem like I'm trying to start all the fires. <laughs> cool, that's reset. <laughs> I 
Oof. So yeah, I'm actually having some flashbacks to the time I did play through this little starting area, and I remember doing this for a while. <clears throat> Professional pilot, yep, killing it over here. Can't you guys tell? From UK Manchester, right on. It just seems like from you know the TV that I've watched that everybody who's from Manchester, like, loves Manchester. Or maybe that's just football. I don't know. Is that just football? Or is that a legit thing? Is there a lot of, like, hometown pride in Manchester? All right, cool. So, I think we got it. Yeah, we're ready to fly a spaceship. Fall damage? Oh, yeah, fall damage. That's a thing. A launch tower. Got a fish shack. It's not open to me. How are you? Guys, I'm about to leave on a spaceship, probably forever. Let's talk to Tefra. It isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine wouldn't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. <laughs> hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Triangle, equip signal scope. All right, so that just points me in the direction of Hide and Seek Outer Wilds Adventures. Ah, oh, you found me? My hiding spot was super good. Super loud. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Yep. Okay, here we go. So, next. Decided to play some groovy tunes in their little radios. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. All right, Galena. Anything on Outer Wilds Ventures? That's right. It's up with the red circles. Oh, somebody's up in the tree. How do I get up there? Up oh, fall damage. Oh, yeah. All right. There's a sprint. Nope, but there sure is a walk. Cool, oh, good to know. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Does that just mean multiple signals? 19,000 meters away. All right. Tight. Talk to Arcos. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosan said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, as ghost matter evaporates. Okay, good to know. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah! 
I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Uh, cool. So, like... Okay. Noted. It's these little green crystals. Talk about ghost matter. Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Now, moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. I missed a bunch of messages, sorry. <clears throat> People in the US are very nice, I like it. Yes, thank you. Uh, music is great chill for sure. Uh, fave game so far, like ever? That's, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. I was actually thinking about this the other day. Um, the game I played through the most is Metal Gear Solid, like the most times. Final Fantasy VII is like the one that probably like made me feel things the most when I was young and I was playing it. Uh, glad to see the rules of gaming are still followed. One, is there friendly fire? Will a jump from this height kill me? Yeah, you absolutely have to do that. Got to test it no matter what. Uh, boom. All right, so you can use a camera. to detect ghost matter. Can't aim up or down with this. Cool. So what's up with the tree? A moraine? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, astronaut. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Coffee. Mm. What are you up to? Any good sounds from space today? Let's say any good sounds from space today. There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard uh, Rebex banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Okay, that's a clue. Signal scopes are cool. I agree. Twenty-seven thousand meters away. Okay, look at these planets cruising on by. Sick. Okay, that's a cool mechanic. That's a very cool mechanic. <clears throat> All right, what's next? I think I saw zero G caverns. My favorite kind of Gs. Money's probably my favorite kind of Gs. Hey, thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Are you kidding? I'm a natural at this. You saw me fly that model ship. Is that so? Funny, I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack, we had to come fish you out of the crater near the South Pole. So, listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make the ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before the first big launch. Get lifted. Get, get, get lifted. Interesting shadow. Uh... Sick. That's cool. Dude, this reminds me of that one. Ah, oh, there's a device that you mess around with in Escape the Back Rooms. And I can't remember the name of it, but it actually like spreads these. Like it's total darkness, and then it like sprays little dots on the walls so you can kind of like see where you're going. 
Reminds me of that, except, you know, kind of the opposite. Suit up. R2 and L2 for up-down thrust. Cool, so we discovered. Try not to use both thrusts at the same time, because it gets crazy. <clears throat> hey, nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero G time in. <laughs> Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt. Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, I saw Tech Tite some as Tech Tite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on fire watch with the old scout launcher. Whatever that is. And saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? Nah, I'm kidding. I just said that to Tech Type once. Pretty rude how long they laugh for, if you ask me. The safety first thing? Alright, alright, alright. So, mining equipment. Here we go. Here we go. Sick. This game is going to be fun. Man, the looking speed is going to kill me, though. Let's do the sensitivity up just a little bit. There we go. That's more my speed. This is it. Roll. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I think I can deal with that. Oh. So, alert rest to lock on. Sick. And that aligns my roll, I think. Okay, sweet. Dude, so navigating this is going to be crazy. Down we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. One more somewhere. inside lidar scanner thank you nate thank you oh like let's let's do a little roll make this down sweet training simulation completed my exit there's my exit I was like which way's down that doesn't really count anymore does it okay it counts now I guess I automatically return the spacesuit. God, I can tell this is going to be a good game. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be just a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Sick. So, I'm going to be hitting everything. I'm sure. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? 
We didn't go up here yet. Maybe this is the observatory. Nope, that's definitely the observatory. I saw smoke coming from Young Bar Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use a scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Okay, so Young Bar Crater to the north. Crater to the north from Tech Type. Who is this Tech Type person? East is Nomai Ruins. South, Quantum Grove Crater. Northwest, Geyser Mountains. North is Young Bar Crater. Use the Scout Launcher. Well, so we're going north. Toward, it almost looks like there's a little, like, circle of stars right here. See that? So that's like the North Star. Is it the North Cluster? Are we rotating? Is this planet rotating? That's awesome if it is. Uh, aim launcher. Yup. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. Right on. Good for you. Good for you. So no sprints. Uh. Eh. So you really gotta jump if you're gonna get some air. You gotta like duck down for a long time. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from top left, Hornfells, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar. What's the name Esker right there then? Photographer, I suppose. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Matthew Steinhauer, Ben Etherington, Birdie Oop the Pie, Jordan Frith, Tom Cummings, Sean Shark Templar, Farrell, Stephen Ursel, Ryan Omrecker. <laughs> Outer Wilds Ventures. Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to intentionally to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Addle Rock. Al. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited. It's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Know My text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ha! Ah, Jeez. Do not break it. Yeah, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. No, I'm not even going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. Can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? Here to see the new Nomai statue? Of course I am. <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Uh, take care of yourself out there, you hear? Okay, so yeah, we've got some 
potentially large furry creatures. I'm guessing this is like a, of an ancient species dwelled in the solar system thousands of years ago. <clears throat> the statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note their decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. I bet we're going to find out. Mystery of the game. Coming soon. Future site of our next exhibit. A quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support, and we hope to see you again soon. This is kind of like a mix of, of like, IRL talking about the company and also the game. That's interesting. Okay. As it grows older, the stars runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Yes. Cool. So just talking about stars in real life. Interesting. I wonder if we'll go to some of these places. Probably. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to locate a local gravity distortion. It was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out! Whoa! Well, that... That's a trip. So, okay, so up and down are, like, super relative in this game. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds' ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. I'm guessing we'll do a little bit of that, too. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. It's like that scout launcher we used a minute ago. What? Okay, so they're not giant. Nomai are normal sized. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Arthians couldn't have descended from uh, Nomian ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other surface subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among the stars and other planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xeno-archaeological expeditions. Dope. All right, so what have we gathered here? We've gathered that those crystals are going to be around, and that up and down are going to be super relative based on whatever surface we happen to be on, or space, you know, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, the game has a lot of Easter eggs for their supporters. This is a little like, like, hey, feel free to give us more money and we'll make cooler games, like more cool games. Uh, we found out that Nomai technology is going to be used to upgrade our equipment over time. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Okay, we're going to be deciphering glyphs. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. What the f that? Oh, translator. Kasava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, this is one line. Fortunately, the Outer Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. And this little star is signifying that there's writing around, I guess. So 
What's this? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock ex exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Uh... What do you got to do? You got to jump on it. It's the only logical reaction. Okay, so if I turn around, is it in a different place? Yep. Interesting. How's that? Anglerfish. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Sweet. I actually don't like the ocean <laughs> in real life, so if it's dark and we're like, I already got a spoiler. I know we're going to Ocean World, so that's going to suck. <laughs> Whoa. Timber Hearth, you are here. We've got the Hourglass Twins, Brittle Hollow, which Dark Bramble we discovered is the ocean planet. So we can rotate the view, pan the view, zoom the view. That's cool. Okay, so we've got some spaceship parts floating around Giants Deep. Brittle Hollow's got... A magma moon and appears to be hollow. I guess that one should have been obvious. Dark bramble. That's like tree roots and stuff. All right, the hourglass twins. We've got ash twin and ember twin. Ember Twin appears to have some hollow action going on too, and like a plant growing out of it. Oh, and then we've got some secret moon down there. Huh, that's interesting. And then Timber Hearth with the Addle Rock, the moon. Oh, there's something floating around the sun. We should totally try to land on that, whatever it is. Is that first challenge? Try to land on that... <laughs> try to land on the sun? <laughs> All this stuff. Hornfells. That's one of the original dudes, right? There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Um, I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before, you know. Perhaps you'll be the first. I must say, should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either. For what you'll find are excellent reasons. <laughs> well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a lunch. I'm ready to get off this rock. Gonna die in space? Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yo, let's go. Launch codes, dash, 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 dot, dot, dash, dot. Wrong way. You're just supposed to be a statue.
Did you just download my memory? Uh. Hello. <laughs> Zero explanation of that. Okay. Hey, hey. So did you good get a good look at that Nomai statue? The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So it's eyes open, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? I mean, like a hallucination. Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? Uh, you know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch while you're not feeling great. Cool. Maybe trying to launch directly into the sun. Not a great idea if we're going to have hallucinations. Uh, but hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of our translator tool. Sniff. Can't believe it's all grown up but leaving for space already. Real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like Rebeck. They'd fall on it for sure. Say, so if you want to do a short trip to just get your space legs under you, you could check out the ruins on the Addle Rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. Uh, launch tower. Is that like launch tower this way? Because this seems like it's going down. Oh, that's the launch tower. Okay. Yep, I'm 100% adding this soundtrack to my Spotify. All right, Tefra. Are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? <laughs> yeah, um, Hornfell says Feldspar went away into space and didn't come back. Hornfell says Feldspar was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to them. Uh, that's not something I want to think about right now. But if Feldspar disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as belt spars, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Okay, yeah, you're not wrong, kid. Oh, sweet, we get to take a space elevator. It's like NASA. All right, cool. All right, Slate, we're back. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. I'm working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Dude. Chip is cool. definitely avoided putting another like hanging ball on this side because it would look like a dick let's check out the ship's log what's up oh cool this is where we record our oh, the interloper is a comet okay rumor mode Okay, so this is like a quest log. And the little green... ...indicates somewhere that has a rumor connection. Cool, so we can literally do whatever we want, though, so that's, that's awesome. All right, the Hourglass Twins... Yeah, 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 interloper, check, check, check. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, so this is making, this is what gives us gravity in our ship. Suit up. Little scout, see beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. Buckle up.
Uh, lift off slash landing camera. Oh, cool. Oh my god, this is sick. Okay. Okay, we got horizontal thrust, up, down thrust. Uh, unbuckle with circle. Equip scout launcher with R1. Signal scope with triangle. Is there gravity? Am I going to get sucked into the sun? Kind of, sort of, seems like that might be the case. So let's... Give that a little, little more juice, little more juice. Okay, I want to catch that thing as it comes back around, though. Okay, signal scope. Yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, come on, baby. Okay, okay. It's going to be like... Uh, uh! So, a little close. Artemis, kid has no chill. Yeah, no chill. Funky looking ship indeed. <laughs> Thanks, statue. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? He's still like half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before a launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a little bit jumpy. All right, cool. Well, we're going to try that again, because, you know, why not? Oh, God. Chat. We got this. All right, it only takes one jump into the sun to make you learn how this thing, whole thing works. What's that? Oh shit. I thought I was out of the atmosphere, guys. My bad. There we go, just gotta wait till it's completely black. Here we go. Well, so like full thruster speed is actually a little bit faster than it seems. All right, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to get like the right distance ish from the sun. I swear it does have gravity and it is pulling me in. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Yep. It's pulling me in. It's pulling me in. It's pulling me in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So gravity is a thing. trip <laughs> you're lucky I'm in a time loop because otherwise I'd be super dead <laughs> and you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons because I have no idea what you're talking about cool let's do this two times in the sun. That's all it takes. Boom. All right. Wait for the black of space. Okay.
Oh, this is going to be really hard to land. I don't think I got it this time around. All right. But let's roll. Yep, yep, yep. I land on this, might get like not be able to uh, make it back. Okay, so what was the shit? Yeah, too slow. I was looking at buttons. Okay, next time it comes around. gonna come just right over the horizon. Yep, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Come on! Nope, didn't time it. Maybe we'll actually play the game. Oh. Okay, back we go again. Um, dude, I need to know the keybind for looking down through the uh, the landing camera. Square. Did they have that mouse in space? Totally has this. Okay, so that would have been super helpful. Well, in one of these games where I can, like, explore and do whatever I want, I don't want to go toward the first quest that they give me. I just want to go to some other random place. Uh, what are you? You're the big giant planet that has some space junk floating outside. Let's go there. and thrust is kind of crazy. What is that? Uh, barrel roll. Barrel roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh... Okay, okay. That's... The first planet I land on is the one with all the water? I was just talking about how I didn't want to land on the planet with all the water. And here we are. Uh... There, good enough. Jeez. All right. Oh, here we are. Uh, it said Quip Scout Launcher. Photo mode. Cool. 
This game is sick. I mean, these controllers are super unique. I've never played a game like this before. What is that? All right, let's check out this other stuff first. Hello, fresh start of the game. What's up, Null Record? Yes. Null Record or Null Record? Um, first time playing the game, fresh start. I know nothing. I've had friends trying to get me to play for like a year and a half, and I'm finally doing it. Uh, cool. So that has a picture of a tornado. And we have tornadoes. So that's a clue. Good friends. Yeah, for sure. They actually got me the game, too. I think uh, I think he was pretty disappointed when I didn't play it right away. I don't remember what I was in the middle of playing, but something. Okay, sweet. So, automatically equips the translator. Lammy, we're going to test the memory statues tonight. Locke says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. Lammy, but what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way. Does anyone want to? Tag it. Flock specifically told us not to do that. Levy. I really want to see the test too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. Cool, so they're talking about testing the memory statues, which I assume is the thing that keeps bringing us back to life after I fly into the sun. Ooh, very little gravity. I mean, <laughs> a lot of gravity here. Opposite. Tons of gravity. All right, that's a ship. Ah. Well, still a ton of gravity right there. I guess I could equip my signal scope. Anything going on here? Okay, that's on another planet. Wait, could I zoom in on that? Like I said? Interesting. Okay. Whoa. Oh, hey. Okay, so those are the crystals that let me change surfaces. That I'm on. All right, because up is relative. Good friends. I met the sun. I <laughs> When I saw the, the first stellar map, I was like, oh, cool. There's something floating around the sun. Let's land on that. Um, and then it turned out that gravity <laughs> was a thing. And that didn't work out so well for me. Uh-oh. Oh, I forget. We have our own... Wait, what does it say? Hold to fire the jetpack booster. Let's go check this out. What is this thing? Also, there appears to be stuff down at the bottom. That's interesting. With so much gravity, the jetpack does like nothing. Uh, oh, I'm getting some interesting sound effects. Okay, so this little thing shows the direction of gravity, that, like, crosshair right there. Double gravity. Oh, and it also shows that I'm traveling, I'm currently traveling around the planet on this rock. Well, that's super curious. Okay. We've got another half of the island over there. Let's check it out. Gotta jump out. We'll be back. Have fun exploring. Cool, thanks. We'll see you soon, No. Have a good one. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get what's happening. I get what's happening. Oh crap. Yep. 
<laughs> Dude, that's wild. Yep, let's get back to the top. Okay, so the tornadoes hit and launch the entire structure out of the water. And then send me careening. And I'm guessing those little, like, tornado photo things. Uh, the, like, little tubes that we were in would protect us from flying super far. Yeah, this must be the door they were talking about. Statue workshop. Yeah. So. Cool. Nothing with this. Boom. Oh. That's, hey, it's us. <laughs> Look at us. All right, cool. Dude, that is, that is really cool. All right. I think we kind of sort of figured this part out. What do these orange ones do? Okay, that's just a normal gravity spot. I mean normal, like, air quotes. Okay, the orange thing is our ship. Check. Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled. Oh, cool. Didn't even know that we had one. Like, oxygen was the thing we had to worry about. Good to know. I kind of wanted to stand here until a storm hits. Okay. Dude, the gravity is so brutal. Anything else to discover on this little rock? So we know this one has the statue workshop. All right, well, guys, I need to pee. I'm gonna stand here. Tornado hits. Hopefully I don't die. And if it does something cool, you have to let me know when I come back. Oh, no, I know that you said you just left, but uh, thanks for the follow. Still getting used to noticing those things. Am I underwater? It does protect me. Ha-ha! So... All right, game is sick. So let's... There is a couple more of those. There's another one. Our ship is somewhere. <laughs> ship is just floating. Cool. Guess we can check out this stuff. Okay, real life archaeology, like, is this pottery? It'd be all over these pottery shards. Let's see how the ancients drank water, perhaps pooped. Lox, welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. I'm not in my dwelling. I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. <laughs> so much gravity, I can't jump over these little walls. Okay, I suppose it's time to get back on the ship, maybe check out some more of these little islands on this planet. I have not been watching my oxygen meter at all this whole time. Okay. It's like, yeah, that looks to be like a stationary island. 
The ship is getting so far away. Uh oh. Okay, how fast does it go down? I wonder what happens when you're standing on this blue crazy thing while the tornado's going. Find out. Maybe I'm supposed to land my ship here. I bet I'm supposed to land my ship here. So that way it doesn't go flying off. Here we are circumnavigating the globe again. Recharge over time. I can't tell. Oh, we're close to my ship again. tank refueled. But I must have refueled my fuel somehow because I was 100% messing around with the tanks before, with the jetpack before. So what's up? Sounds like we're getting close. Yep. Kill myself. <laughs> Are we gonna hit that? That's sick, so I'm horribly injured. My ship is way out in the distance.
Oh ship, don't hit the tornado. Totally hitting the tornado. Let's get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Down we go, in we go. Woohoo! Use medkit and refuel jetpack. Sweet. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay. Whoa, our star is red now? What is happening? Okay, let's get in the atmosphere. Oh, dude, there's like a giant pillar here. Okay, we're gonna land in this. trust you, blue thing, to keep my ship safe. We're like in the eye of the storm. Oh yeah, we're on the pole. It's amazing. Heal through the power of prayer and or a med pack. <laughs> yeah, thankfully the med pack got me. It's praying that whole time. And it did nothing. to do nothing. Here. 